Hello everyone, Zax is here and today we're going to play Drone, the Painted Tower. The Drone series consists of three games, starting from 2009 and continuing to 2011. The second and third parts are Dark Flight and Trial of Shadows. Uh, the game is coming from Big Fish Games, which usually make mediocre games, but uh, back in the days Drone was maybe one of their greatest achievements and I really like the game so I decided to share the gameplay with you so without further delay we continue with the story in a world shrouded in darkness in a town bleak and trampled a small girl stands atop a tall tower. A beacon of hope, imprisoned by shadows. She calls out for help. But her voice is stolen by the wind. And her tears, like dreams, are lost in the night. So oh, this is where the game starts, at the bottom of the tower, and the first thing that you can notice about the game, yeah, besides that this girl is missing, so this girl Iris is asking for your help because she's trapped at the top of the tower. And what you find is a sketch of a handle, which can be used in the middle to create a real handle and open the door. This is one of the main features of the game. You can use paintings, you can uh, Entering paintings, you can draw things to help you. At last you have come. Iris is gone. Separated from me and I have been turned to stone. The tower doors have all been locked with cunning magic. And I cannot solve their riddles. You must find her. You must save her. So yeah, they can help you advance in the game. I mean the paintings that you find here is a squirrel on a stump, just the painting which we'll be using later. Well, here he has some nice puzzles. Some of them easy, some a bit hard. Iris's family had a rare and special gift. The paintings they created became magical doors to enchanted worlds. Now only Iris remains, and her gift is a secret I have sworn to protect. But her paintings have been marred by the Chancellor's wicked curse. You must find a way to unlock them. Please, hurry. Oh, it sounds a bit dramatic that a wicked curse has been causing troubles to the paintings, but actually they're just uh, missing a piece And once you fix it, you can enter the painting and do stuff there. For example, you can place a rabbit among the pumpkins to chase out the cross and the squirrel so you can take this glove. What you have here is this scarecrow, 
the important parts are usually marked with some stars. It's a pretty easy game, actually. It's not hard to find to at least what you have to do. It's still very fun to play. And now we're going to fix the scarecrow by finding his missing pieces. I got the gloves and he gives us the clippers for the next part, for example. To reach this pumpkin. And get the uh, hat as well. So, these three flowers, and I mean, not really flowers, but yeah, will be used later. Uh, we also need to get this the bee, butterfly, and the dragonfly, but uh, this also happens later. So we got the hat, which was hidden. So now he gives us a knife to, to cover the pumpkin. And somehow there are buttons inside the pumpkin, nobody asks why uh, they are inside it. And now we chase all the crows and the scarecrow gave us this shiny glowing eye. There's nothing more to do here for me. But when the, the crows are running away, they tear up some of the wall behind. And we get the pieces. Next thing to do can be to actually fix this part from what we got uh, from the scrolls. And now we get to another puzzle where we have to get this painting as it is. Now we have the metal sun, goat iron sun, coat iron sun. Here on the left we can see some tips that we can have about what we need to do next, the sun and the rain. And if we click on Franklin, yeah, his portrait here, and then on the sun and the rain, uh, we're gonna get some tip about what we do. Here is the raining part, so we cannot uh, proceed further. We have a sun, but it's cold. It doesn't do anything. But here on the left side, if we place the eyes, the furnace starts. It's a nice fire monster. We get to hit the sun, take it with the tongs, and we can finally warm this part here. So I can get access to the next stage. You've unlocked the cloud door. Iris is trapped somewhere high above in the tower. Oh, how I fear for her safety. You must continue on your own now, stranger. I will assist you if I can. Be careful. Trust no one. Uh, 
uh, here above the fireplace uh, we can see another uh, painting but it's torn apart so the fabric of the painting has been sewn and there's nothing else we can do for now so I just continue upwards there's we get the hammer there's a little more things that we can explore here it's a nice little drawing journal entry witch doctor and just a little treat about the story and when we try to edit the painting it just goes kaboom now here we have ears and teeth that uh, we'll need later and behind this broken wall we can take with a shard here we have several different pieces and if we don't know what to do again we can ask Franklin let's say just to show you the third with a shard a door with a girl carved of stone a hint one of two so if you need uh, further help you can wait for the hint to charge up and then ask again and here's actually this piece the girl on the door we cannot uh, proceed further actually for the moment and we take the other parts of the window here's a stone star which we place here but we also need a hut so let's go back here some more treats of the story and the drawing of the tree that where we were going to go later now we need the last piece second window shirt it is part of the restoration project yes, the restoration of the window of course and here we got the sketch of, of the witch doctor Okay, I don't really remember where the second piece was. Well, let's search it again. Okay, here it is on the wall. Now when we click on it, they move. Uh, when we click on the pieces. The sort of silly thing is that uh, once you place them where they need to be they just go, grow dark but uh, since you have to form a specific shape this actually makes things easier because it would be very hard to make it just uh, by chance Now that we know where exactly we need to dig, we can use the shovel to dig it. There's not what, a lot of sand, you can normally just scrub it away with the shovel, but yeah. In this game there are a lot of things that are not really very logical, like going in paintings. So we clear the painting and we enter it again. Here we place the Witch Doctor and we need to help him with the cauldron Here we have the one that he needs but it's too early to use it for now Most of the things when you use them 
actually everything that when you use it completely it disappears. So now use the hammer to break some stuff and the hammer goes away. We get what we can. We create a net and we cannot use it. Now we use the net to go back to the first painting and grab the flying little creatures. And of course the net disappears, which means there's nothing else that we need to get from here. We can watch this squirrel goes up and down and the rabbit trying for a second. And actually this is a candle that we need. It's one of the tricky bits in the game there usually the game goes very smoothly. You wander around, you get to the next puzzle, you solve the puzzle and you continue. But there are a few places where you can struggle to find what exactly you need. Okay, so we need the wand, but if we try to give him the wand, he says he needs three magic pieces to create the wand. Feathers, beads and the stuff. And now we get these shiny stars here and we can place the heads that we found in the broken uh, some things. I don't know how they're called at the moment. What? Why do I can hear what you're saying? Well, let me give you some ears. And we get the feathers and when we give him the teeth we get the magic beads. Now we can create the wand for the witch doctor by placing all the pieces in the three circles. Oh. Oh. Powerful magic is at work here. So we need all these six things that we found in the first painting. He breaks the living creatures into essence and adds them to the soup. Now we see the next stars so where we need to do something. Now we have the recipe, a small vial along the shelf, after powder of the color of night. So first we need the powder and after that is the small vial. A bowl of cut leaves in the middle before a flower of light. So the cut leaves are in the middle, last is the flower of light which is the sunflower. And before these two we have powder and small vial. I will start with the powder. There, there are different vials here, but uh, on the bottom shelf, small vial is this one. What was next? Uh, cut leaves in the middle and then flower of light. So we create the portion of growth that the witch doctor needs. And the give a heart is the next part. And the witch doctor gives us the heart for the girl. It takes some time for the potion to be complete. So we just continue forward. And we get needle and thread. is cursed and indeed dangerous to us all. The bell is fallen, taking the bridge with it. The witch doctor was right. Not only is Iris held prisoner at the top, but traps have been laid for anyone 
attempting to save her. But you must continue on. You must find a way to the top. Quickly. Since we cannot continue upwards, we can go back and actually fix the painting that was torn apart. Before that, uh, here is where the, the bell fell. The, the hole in the, in the floor, and there's, this bell is the start of, start of the second game actually. It's a nice little treat for those uh, who play the game. You see parts of the next game that will be interesting, and here's something that remains hidden from when the bell fell. So we need some light, and we get the knob dragon. I mean the knob. Spider. We have to press the eyes and they open and close with every press. So you get to create, uh, to find out which are turning on and off the eyes. So if we start with this one and then just. Okay, not this one. But uh, if we start at the bottom. It's easy to close all the eyes. Apparently when you close out the eyes of the spider, it burns into, into flames. So those of you that hate spiders can try this thing. Now we need to make the the tree grow, but to do that we'll have to go back and get some of the potion. Here it is, the trees start to grow and there are actually mushrooms on it that, help, that can help us climb up and get to the top. But there are a lot of bugs eating the bark at the tree, so we can just use the bird to eat all the bugs. Now that it's safe, we can enter. We have some help, uh, but what we do make it rain by actually drawing the clouds. And special chalk is locked away, a five sided game you need to play. So, here's another message. From Catherine, it's the mother of Iris. Oh, we take the leather, we take uh, the bird cage, we remove what we don't need, and here's the game that we need to play to unlock the chalk and get it. Now we have colored dots in the corners and these figures in the middle which are these bigger partial circles and one silver bow in the middle. So we have to match the colors. We have the yellow, we have the green one
and oh, this here is was mistaken. So when you get these two colors, they just connect. And this is a very nasty spot because only these two are on, on the wrong places. And they usually the biggest struggle is how to make them turn around. If you don't want to watch it, you can just press skip puzzle, or, or I mean, if you don't want to struggle with the puzzle, but I guess this is the most interesting part of these games. It's not the story, it's partially the painted graphics, but the puzzles are what people are most interested in when playing such games. And there it is. Somehow we made it. We get the magical ch chalk. And now we can paint, the, draw the clouds actually. Come on. There it is. And here's the third cloud, which is a bit hidden. We get the rain, the tree is happy. And another thing about struggling with uh, things to find is that actually we have a tree here, which for no real reason just happened to be there. place it here just start the, the tree starts growing out of the painting grown out of the painting and up into the tower. It possesses ancient magic and wisdom. It must be trying to help you in some way. You have won a strong ally. Return to the broken bridge. Franklin continues to give us information. and tips on what to do in his dramatic voice. Now we can continue. We'll find an egg with a phoenix before we go in. But here we get to another problem because there's just no way to light up this place. And you have to just go back and put the egg in the fire because, you know, the phoenix is a firebird. You grab the bird in the cage and you have to just release it here so you can light up the place. So 
So we can stop here for a second and we'll continue with second parts. Just click on the next link and you'll find it.